it's Nanette from Heart Baby Home. Today we're looking at heart number 37, which has Schoen's complex and a few other things. So Schoen's complex is a set of heart defects that restricts blood flow both in and out of the heart's left ventricle. Now I want to start with the aorta. So that's blood that's flowing out of the left ventricle. We've got several defects in the aorta. Starting at the left ventricle, we have subaortic stenosis. The sub means below, so that's a narrowing below the aortic valve. Um, and usually that's just extra wall that's grown in there um, that's not really supposed to be there. We've also got a bicuspid aortic valve. That's when two of the three sections of the valve are fused together, so that also makes it hard for the blood to go out. We've got hypoplasia or hypoplastic aorta, and that's just where it's underdeveloped. If you look, the aorta in the normal heart is quite a bit bigger. And then coarctation of the aorta is after the aortic arch, then there's a narrowing, kind of almost like it's been pinched. Um, and all of those things together make it hard for blood to get out to the body. Now let's look at the mitral valve. So first we've got a parachute mitral valve, and that's where, okay, so the heart doesn't really look like this. Like the valves, they've got all this stringy stuff that's attached to the walls of the left ventricle, and their muscles and they they use those strings on the valves they pull on it and that's how it opens the, the valve this is for the mitral and the tricuspid and so when you have a parachute mitral valve some of those strings or the muscly strings are attached on the wrong side and so when it pulls to open it uh, it doesn't open the valve the right way and it doesn't open it enough and so that's where it's restricting blood flow into the left ventricle. Then we also have a mitral ring, and that's just an abnormal ring of tissue just above the mitral valve that can block blood flow, and it can kind of get sucked down on and like cover it like a lid, or sometimes it's, it, it just blocks the amount of blood that can go in. So all of those things make up Schoen's complex. And then this heart also has a patent ductus arteriosus, that's the PDA that connects the pulmonary artery and the aorta, and that usually closes two to 10 days after birth. So in this heart, the PDA is actually helping oxygenated, well, partially oxygenated blood get out into the aorta and out into the body. So when that PDA closes, then that hypoplastic aorta is going to become even more critical. So a cardiologist will sometimes give medicine that keeps that PDA open so that the baby can grow and develop a few more days before they have to have that first surgery. Then I also see a PFO, which is a patent foramen ovale. And that is basically, okay, so it's just like an ASD, which is the hole in the wall between the left and right atrium. Only well, instead of being a hole, it's actually a flap. So when there's pressure on one side or the other, it'll, it'll spurt open. Or like if you sneeze or cough, um, then that's when it'll open. So, but just that it's a flap and not a hole. So sometimes they fix those and sometimes they leave them and it just depends on how big it is and how the rest of the heart is working and if they think that it's messing around with stuff. So that is it for heart number 37. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. That directly helps me. If you have any questions or would like me to draw a new heart for you, you can contact me at heartbabyhome.com slash contact. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. And that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.